As this holiday season rolls around, you may be wondering what kind of tree you should purchase this year. Real or fake? This age-old dilemma actually has some interesting impacts on the environment. Let's dive into real versus fake trees. It might seem like fake trees are the more eco-friendly option, right? I mean, if you take care of them, they could last a couple of years, which is years of not cutting down a living, thriving tree. That being said, artificial trees are often made of a mixture of plastics, PVC and metal, making them difficult or impossible to recycle, not to mention the energy and pollution impacts of creating them. There is the added environmental impact of them often coming from overseas, which increases their carbon footprint to the tune of 88 pounds of CO2 per artificial tree. This makes the impact relatively high for the time it is used yearly. With all of these elements factored in, an artificial tree would have to be used for over 10 years to meet the carbon impact of a real tree. When the artificial tree's life is over, it is taken to a landfill where it is difficult or impossible to decompose. The life cycle of a real tree is much simpler. A seed is planted, the tree grows for seven to 10 years on average, and is then cut. While the tree grows, it stores carbon in its woody biomass and sequesters carbon into the soil. Real trees are also able to be composted, recycled, or repurposed. This makes the end of their life much more beneficial than an artificial tree. Trees grown on small-scale, sustainable local farms are much better than mass-produced trees, grown far away and transported to your area. For every tree that is cut, one to three seedlings will be planted in its place. They create added ecosystem benefits such as a habitat for wildlife and keeping the land forested. However, not all real trees are source sustainable, so asking questions and researching can help find the right tree. Getting trees from local areas also decreases the risks of spreading disease, pests or invasive species. But there are other ways to give that real holiday tree a second purpose. You can participate in a local tree recycling program. The tree can be turned into mulch using a wood chipper, or even secure it outside to create a shelter for wildlife. And some local environmental organizations can repurpose them for restoration projects. In the Pacific Northwest, creative groups are using spent holiday trees to provide needed habitat for salmon and other fish. If you still don't want to cut down a tree, but artificial ones don't sound good either. There are options such as renting a tree, where instead of being cut, a tree is left in a pot to continue growing. You can also buy a potted tree and plant it outdoors in the spring. Make sure you buy a native tree that will be able to survive in your climate and environment. You could even utilize a plant you already have. Dress up that Monstera or Parlor Palm. However you get creative and festive this holiday season, we appreciate you checking in with One Tree Planted. If you'd like to get your hands dirty planting trees with us, learn more or get involved, check out the links in the description below or visit our website. Happy Holidays!